Hi, I'm Cynthia and I love my heritage. So growing up, um, I got a relaxer at a very young age. I was in the city of Detroit. My neighborhood was primarily black, but then we moved to a suburb Southfield, Michigan, and I noticed that there were a lot more different hair types. And let's just say mine was not considered beautiful or glorified. So even the connotation that I had to get a relaxer made it seem like my hair was unruly and <laughs> untamed. And so it, it made me start to think like, you know, am I pretty? How am I going to wear my hair? So as I got into high school, I cut all my hair off. And so I transitioned to doing extensions. Extensions became popular, so I started using extensions. And that went on for a while. Fast forward, after I got married, I was working. Um, I got pregnant with my daughter and my hair like flourished. I finally had this flowing hair, <laughs> uh, my natural hair. I got pregnant with my son right after my daughter and uh, the complete opposite happened to my hair. It fell out, it broke off. All those insecurities of this young girl came back about my hair and my pretty. And I'm a married woman with two kids and a professional career. And I finally just got really sick of it. There was one day, August 31st, 2018, I was like, I am never relaxing my hair again, period. It was just like, it was a mindset shift. I, I looked at it. I was just tired of not loving it. And that just really started a journey of me accepting all of me. And I started learning more about my hair heritage and that's a play on word heritage you know with my you know ancestry and also my hair i always knew that i was a descendant of the clotilde that was the last illegal slave ship that came over from africa over to alabama but reading the book is a book by vain dialf and she was describing like before the uh, captives were brought over their heads were shaved and hair was such an important part of the identity of Africans. You're brought over to this country in a very, you know, cruel way. Now you're, you know, your head's shaved and you're made to feel like you're less than. And I really feel like that contributed to like, how do we assimilate here in this country? And so I just started using the, the puff cuff and it gave me the look that I was looking for, um, but it also helped me to slowly embrace my curls because it was a, um, a journey, like what products work, what products don't work. I, I have to just say, I really, really believe in it because it did help me get to really loving my natural hair. We are all on a journey where I am today it took many stepping stones to come to this milestone of where I am. So all I would say is I want to encourage you, don't give up. Embrace who you are and do it day by day. Simply enjoy the journey because sometimes we're looking to get to the top and we realize that it's not getting to the top that gives us the exhilaration. It really is taking it step by step. So journey through.